Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Um, this week in the chapel, I have for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. I'm just trying to keep a pure heart. That's Proverbs 23 7. And like I said, I'm just trying to keep my heart pure. Some things going on that just. <clears throat> so, not going to think about it. God's got this. I'm good with that. All right, so let's do totally hooked. So the first thing I did was the the one thing that I'm most proud of that I got finished. And yes, you heard me. I got things finished. The dogs are wrestling around here. Um. So. Ugh. You're not gonna guess, but I don't have the ends woven. In. You know, I take one evening and just weave them all in. But look. It's done. <laughs> yes. All 60 some inches of it. Um, not my favorite colors. Not my favorite yarn. But it came with a kit. And the green is soft. The Noro. I still don't know if I'm saying that right or not. Don't like it. It's not one of my favorites. It pulls apart super easy. I have this much of the green left. And then I have this much of it left. Oh and I just pulled Look, I just pulled a piece off. So, yeah. I don't even know. Look, it's stuck here. Yeah, okay. So, I would have had that much left. <laughs> but I have I have this much left. And it really does just pull apart that easy. It, I, I don't know why. And even just pulling on this, it, it just keeps coming. It, it, <sighs> just not my favorite. I'm sure... For weaving, it probably would be amazing, but I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. But this is super soft. This one is cotton, and it feels it. So, yeah, I got that one done. I have that much left. The only other thing that I got done was, uh, I'm putting them back in the bags because, remember, worm, okay? And you saw the yarn barf. That's what's used left of the yarn barf right there. And yes, I spent time undoing it. Okay, so the other thing is, is I really, I made that bag that was made of cotton. And I like the color of the yarn. So I made myself a washcloth. Um, it is long, and I did it that way because I liked the full range of color. I did it based on the color, but it does do my whole face. So I'm pretty happy with that. I've actually already used it once. Um, I haven't woven the ends. I'm horrible at weaving in ends. So I'm going to do that before I put it back in there. So I've been working on those. Those are my two totally hooked. Um, this is done in Tunisian. And if you remember Tunisian crochet has a distinct front and a distinct back. So um, not that it matters in this case. I use either side. But it's just something that people are like, it doesn't look the same on each side. So Tunisian's a little bit different workhorse there. So, but that's my done, my totally hooked one um, in the basket. So I started to make that little headband. I frogged it. I don't, I'm just done. I, I'm tired of making headbands. So this may turn into a cowl or something different later. But I still have the um, hat to make and literally this is as far as I've gotten done on it I haven't finished it and it looks ribbed just because I'm doing a back loop double crochet on the back loop only and that's what gives it that ribbed look and then this will be gathered up and then this will flip up as a brim try not to pull my hook out and voila I will simply seam it down the bottom it's a super simple you can use any um, stitch you want you can do it Tunisian you can do it however and it makes a super simple hat so that's what I'm doing and that is the one I have left to get done um, for Christmas for the office so there's those then let's see what else oh I have started I'm working on the hat if you notice I have like a small project and a big project going it's because the big project 
I used to just do one and do it all the way through. Well, now I get kind of bored with it. So I uh, normally tend to have one that's a little bit bigger project going on and then a littler project, you know, that I can do. So this right here, I've been working on this. This is another one of the kits that came. Okay, and reading the pattern, it is this pattern and then a square. You just do the square and seam them together here and here and leave the armholes. <laughs> the silhouette pattern, <coughs> sorry, comes from, hey guys, quit wrestling. That's warm over there, making all that noise. Uh, the silhouette pattern comes because they have it on a silhouette form. Uh, the yarn is just that drapey. So you just make two squares with this pattern and then seam them together. And this is that nylon cotton blend and it's that hollow, I say hollow stuff. I don't know if you can see. It's got chunks of color in there. And then it's got this. And of course it's not wanting to focus. Let me grab something white. It's got a little bit of writing on it, but there we go. Okay. So I'm going to try and get this one done. And there, I have a goal in mind for getting all of these done. Okay. And I'll tell you about that in the, in the farmhouse. So I've been working on this one. I've only done one row on this because I was still finishing that other one. Um, so the other thing that I have for in the basket is, you know, I do those reviews for Mary Maxim because I do them and some people want to know. And acrylic has come a long way. Um, I've had several people contact me and say, if it hadn't been for you doing this, I never would have gone back to acrylic. It's not your grandma's acrylic, guys. I promise you won't be disappointed. Um, they're super soft. Uh, Mary Maxim is very picky about what they do. So I reviewed this one. I had opened it and did the unpackaging for these two blankets and I've decided that I'm not doing baby blankets. I'm going to, hey, be nice. I'm going to adjust them to be lap robes. And if I have to donate them to a nursing home someplace, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so this, I actually discussed this kit with you, I think last week, but I got another thing in the mail from them. And this is one of the things that I love about Mary Maxim. Now I haven't had time to break into this, um, I reviewed it and I said there's four balls of each and I don't know if I even read on the pattern you know I, I didn't look that closely at it but I got this so the second package that I got had an apology letter and two more of these oops and I just knocked a tag off there um, apparently the patterns call for six balls and there should have been six balls in there and they didn't realize it so they sent me two more balls of each to do those patterns with um before i had even caught it they fixed it so um i'm super happy with that knowing that they're going to take care of me you know so yeah if they're going to take care of me i really like that because let's face it i don't have a whole lot of time when i pick up a project i really I'm liking the fact that the kit has everything in it. I can take it and go. And with me working different hours and all that, it's super easy to take. So um, the only thing is it doesn't fit in the package now. So I'm squishing it. It's not going to close. But that's okay. I got this, right? At least I have all the yarn for it. I think they sent me one that was bigger than this that I used the yellow, the pink in that, or lavender and off-white that I'm making the poncho out of, I think I'm going to transfer it into that because I've used some of those balls up and this one, you know, now has six for each one. So, yeah, Mary Maxim definitely stepped up when it comes to uh, their customer service. Um, like I said, I didn't even know. I didn't, I don't even think I read it to see how many balls it took. So, they've already fixed it, not had a problem. Um, I haven't started it though. What is with my camera? Ugh. I don't know if it's too bright in this house. If anybody knows how to, I said this last week, I think, if anybody knows how to adjust that so that it's not self-adjusting, so I can just adjust it to this um, for the focus, let me know, because <laughs> I don't know, and I need to figure it out. 
Okay, so that's all I have in the basket. Now I did do some, I don't have anything in the pots, but I do have some on the wheel. Oh, I was gonna scoop that out. So I've had a lot of help and see it's got these little things here. That is because I've gone to calling Worm. He's my wool wart. It doesn't matter, and here he comes. So I learned to keep my crochet put away. Like I've moved my basket into my bedroom, keep the door closed. I don't have it sitting out. I, I did have it sitting at the end of the couch and he'd get in there and destroy stuff. You saw the barf, okay? So I have a tendency to leave the ball of wool, to spin this this way, and leave my ball right here that I'm spinning on. When you run to the grocery store and you leave a ball of wool, you come home to this. It is not ruined, number one. It is not ruined. It is not high dollar wool. Um, I still can break into this anywhere and line up the fibers and just start spinning from here and pull everything out and then spin it the way I want okay remember that you can process wool with your fingers as easily as you can any fancy tool and yes there is a whole video on that that i do at um wool fest so um especially if you're just starting out just pull it just fix it you can process it with your fingers and put it back to what you had before unfold stuff you know this by no means is ruined and it is not trash okay which i've had people say oh my god he ruined that no he didn't ruin it he did have a lot of fun with it wish he hadn't because now i have here's another one i have these fuzzies all over the house because he did you know take some of that hey quietly but that is just that domestic wool top that i got for it was 15 bucks for two pounds. So what's that, 750 a pound? Yeah, it's not fancy, big fancy wool, but it is nice wool and it spins up great. And I wouldn't have so many bobbles and my bobbin messed up, but it's all fixable, okay? It's, there's nothing I can't fix or, you know, do. I just, I'm gonna have to watch him. He loves wool. It doesn't matter if it's in yarn form, doesn't matter if it's in, he prefers the wool over the cotton, but if there's no wool available or acrylic available, he's taking the cotton. So he's got his favorites. Wool is his favorites, but nothing's destroyed, just inconvenienced. And I need to finish getting it spun and I've got to remember to leave him, um, or leave my wool someplace else. It, it's just, uh, yeah so it is what it is um you guys know that i'm not one to i'm not one to get super upset um if it was a consignment i would be horrified so i'm going to get in the habit i did put out that i was going back to consignment spinning and consignment crochet i am only doing fashions i'm not doing toys i'm not doing I like to do ponchos, I like to do wraps, um, hats, scarves, um, that kind of stuff, fingerless mitts, but I, I'm not a big fan of toys and this, that, and the other. I'll, I'll evaluate every time that I'm asked, um, but I do prefer hand spun wool if they want me to do that. Uh, so I am doing that and one of the vets at our office at our clinic dr gatlin she is amazing but she has two rescue sheep and she sheared them herself um i've got that wool and then she has started collecting things because she doesn't think i think she's thinking army felt blanket but i'm not felting it i'm just going to make her a blanket um so she started collecting she also has rabbits she has a farm so she's got rabbits and she's got some dogs and she's got the and I was telling her daughter, and I don't want to see her name here, but I was telling her daughter that anything to soften it up be great. So they brought me some rabbit. They went home and they brushed all the rabbits. I have all the wool in there and then I have all the rabbit stuff. And then they have 
this little bit that is multicolored. It's super soft. And it is from the rabbits. I want to say a goat. I think this is the dog. But they have started anything that they brush that they like the feel of. They're adding it to their blanket just to soften up the wool. And the wool already has the memory, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then I'm going to make them a blanket. I think at Christmas I'm going to steal because I won't have it done by Christmas. Um, they're still collecting. Um, at Christmas, I am going to take and I'm going to needle fell two little ornaments. Probably just star. I want to do them different. She's got two children, one little boy and one little girl. And I'm not doing them for mom and dad. I'm just going to do them for the kids. It will be their keepsake. And I will talk to them. They can put essential oils on them, make their closet smell better, you know, whatever. But I am going to do them a little ornament for them to put on their Christmas tree. And it'll be from their sheep. And it'll only be sheep. So, I'm going to do that. And I am sure that they will be more than happy with that. So, but, hey, hey, hey. He looks so vicious when he's doing that. Hey, Worm, what are you doing? Are you beating brother up? <laughs> Quit. You behave. He sounds vicious and he looks vicious, but he's not. He's not even hurt. Hitch is like, mm, thanks for getting him off me. All right. So that's on the wheel. In the fields, nothing. I've been buying organic and as much as I can. And the other day, I just bought a thing of lettuce. I didn't even care if it was organic. I just wanted to get my salad and get home. <laughs> so I know it's not really the farmer's way. Um, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And that is one of these times. Hey. I put my crochet there that I'd already showed you and now somebody's jumping in. So, all right. You better quit or I'm a spank. All right. In RJ's world, RJ is working. I don't remember. I think I told y'all that he took a job at the local uh, stockyards, riding a few horses there. He's been doing that, roping. Um, just living life so uh is what it is all right in the farmhouse i wish i had better new you know he's been doing oh he did do a big pasture roping and so he got talked to into it doing a pasture roping doing a ranch style rodeo and when they say pasture roping there's no fences to keep these cattle in there's anything you do it like you do in the pasture there's a cow out there roaming. They tell you which one. You go get it. You head it. You team rope it. You know, you do the doctoring. They have different events in a standard rodeo. So he was in the doctoring, and he they won it. And one person rides out there, ropes the horns, okay, so that gets control of it, lays it over. It's called tier, steer tripping. One, the next person is out there and riding and waiting for you to get, once you get it tripped, they jump off. And this is a full size steer. This is not a baby calf. This is not, a, this is 900 to 1,000 pounds of pure, <coughs> yeah, you think you're going to give me a, an annual vaccination. Mm -hmm. So you have to trip it. And then RJ was the one that went down and tied the feet. He jumped off. Uh, Star did amazing. All these other horses are like running crazy and Star's just standing there going like, are you done yet? <laughs> she ran him out there. He got off. She just stopped standing. And it is done in a pasture. So she starts grazing. <laughs> so that's good. It means she is well on her way. Um, the other person, there's three to a team. The other person goes out and, and they normally, if it was real life and they were working in a pasture, they, they would be giving it a shot, branding it, um, whatever, checking it out, doing its medical stuff annually. So the, the third person of that team has to jump down and they have like this little thing with baby powder on it and you have to pretend brand, you know, or pretend to give it a shot with this baby powder. So yeah, it's a lot of fun, but RJ 
and his team did one win first on star and she's a mustang so she covered ground and got him there and did really good so yep and rj had fun he says kind of a break from the regular rigmarole of rodeo so he did do that all right in the farmhouse i have to tell you this one thing i am so addicted to these if you've ever these are trader joe's trail mix crackers they've got mung beans seeds cashews uh raisins it says cheese but i think the cheese is baked into the cracker um it's got let's see here what else cashews uh white sesame seeds hey hey, hey. pumpkin seeds black sesame seeds white sesame seeds they are amazing and it's actually i ate them all or i would show you one well here's a picture of one on the back i just have crumbs in there now but they're a cracker that has all this stuff put on it and oh my goodness and you can have four of these crackers for 170 calories plus the protein in them it's five grams of protein which is pretty good for a cracker if you think about it and they are just really good guys i i've never heard of trail mix crackers before but yeah i'm happy with those so um is what it is all right the other thing that i did was i went out and i cleaned out part of the barn we've been trying to get ready for winter here yes it's august or september um but in october is when you guys know that i have the every other year timeshare and um we had it scheduled for may but i started my new job and I really just couldn't start on April 19th and then May 2nd take off or May 5th or whatever. It was the first week of May. And so I couldn't just be there like two weeks and then take off for vacation. So um, we pushed it back, which with COVID and the spike and stuff, honestly, I kind of like that. Um, you know, it's still going on, but at least we have a handle on how we personally handle it um i think that's the key is you have to do what's right for your family whether you're vaccinated or whether you're not or you do what's right for your family our family now has a way that we handle it so we can be in public and be out there and honestly knock on wood i have been very blessed to have not gotten this and i worked home health care i've been out in the public the entire time that this has been going on so um yeah very very blessed god is covering me very well so i mask up anytime i go anywhere hey now that's enough yeah they just got in trouble go lay down go on um it's all fun and games till somebody gets hurt so that sound they know you know quit no he's after my wool now this is worm and worm is a pain sometimes hey say hi naked dog naked dog naked dog <laughs> all right go um but anyway so we now have a plan and we're i'm definitely more comfortable fitting in vacation we got our own rules our own thing and we keep ourselves safe so that's and i applaud all of you who do the same thing so i don't judge don't care who is vaccinated who isn't vaccinated what your reasons are i'm not you know wear a mask not to wear a mask it's all of it's debatable but you know what at the end of the day when you lay your head down in that bed did you do everything for your family that is right based on the information that you have at the time that's all it, that i care about and if you say yep I'm doing the best I can there you go more power to you so anyway um we are going on vacation in October so um I won't have as much time to get the house ready for winter I don't know when winter's gonna hit so um both hey quit um 
both roommate and I have a tractor. Mine stays at the farm. Roommates is here, but we hadn't cleared a spot for it. And I honestly, the the I call it my little pumpkin, the Kubota that I bought. Um, it's too much tractor for this place. Um, it's got the front end loader and all that stuff. So uh, roommate has a little Ford. It can brush hog. It can do everything we need to do. And you know. So I went out and cleaned out an old barn that's out there. And I say cleaned out, I straightened it up. Everything's still there because I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. This is roommate's house that, that it's roommate's mom's house. And roommate grew up here. So some of that stuff is probably roommate's dad's, roommate's uncle's, roommate's grandma and grandpa's. Um, and I'm not going to touch any of that. I mean, I am, but I'm not going to throw away. And this is trying to, I'm not. So I went in and I straightened up and I cleared um, a section. And we're going to put the tractor. And <laughs> roommate looks at me. I've never really put the tractor up. And I said, well, it'll last a lot longer. And, and it's just a difference in, in two people. I said, it'll last a lot longer if it's housed for the winter and it's not covered in snow and ice and blah 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 it's a lot easier on the motor it's everything and a uh, roommate looked at me and said okay you want to clean a spot for it I'll make sure we put it in there and so I went out and I cleaned out a spot um, in the barn and took care of that uh, just the rest of this time it's just stuff that had to be done um, there's a, a so I, my bedroom is down this hallway and then across from the bedroom is a bathroom and then there's a bathroom up here across from roommate's room which is great mm, the bathroom back there has a plumbing issue that we have yet to finish figuring out and I have started trying to clean up that bathroom because if that's I want to take down those doors and put a shower curtain up um, just because those doors leak and there's water damage down the wall. So I'm thinking take that down. I can take a bath. Do you know how long it's been since I had a bath? <laughs> I always take showers. Um, but anyway, so I've been trying to clean back there a little bit, but I haven't gotten very far. Not enough to even note worthy take, go back there pictures, you know. Um, I scrubbed the stool. You don't want to see that. The sink... One, the drain on the sink, the little uh, crooked part had kind of rusted out. I think there was a, a um, clog in there or whatever and turning off the water. I'm just trying to work back there, but how this goes back to winter is I'm trying at this point to stop working back there and get the water out of the pipes. You know, so it's turned off. The stool is turned off. The sink is turned off independently. And the bathtub, I believe, is on the house, so I may have to leave that. I haven't figured it out yet. So, I'm trying to winterize that bathroom just because, and I mean, I use the other one, you know. But it'd be nice for me to actually have my stuff back there in my bathroom. Yeah, not happening right now, though. Uh, so, anyway, um... I've been working on that, getting stuff done, uh, little things like getting the feeders and the um, water troughs back to RJ from where we had those cattle down here. Um, the meat came back, it came back Tuesday, so I don't know, I haven't talked to RJ, he ran over and got it. I don't remember how many pounds there are of it, so um, uh, I do know that he so Gordy weighed in at about 1,200 pounds, and I know that this little crippled calf weighed in at like 900 pounds, but you don't get all that meat back. So yeah, he was littler, but he, he was having a harder time because of where his leg was crippled. He couldn't get up very well. He couldn't go down, you know. Um, and the rule for butchering meat is in the commercial world, it has to walk across the scales, and they have to put it down. So it can't be crippled to a point that it can't walk so um yeah so he went and picked that up and there'll be for uh meat in the freezer um stuff done and we are going to go on vacation 
I believe mid-October so I've got six weeks to get stuff done and I plan on having this done by then so that I can take this and the poncho I still have the geo and I'm putting it on hold because I want that one to get my full attention um, and another thing is is that I went you guys know I went and got new contacts um, and that they're adjusting my prescription to okay so I used to see this one close up and I now see it distance I used to see this one distance and I now use it close up because my prescriptions were getting too far away so they wanted to bring them closer to the same prescription for both eyes um, that being said it's been a little bit of a hard transition because it's the middle part so when I close one eye everything's fine nice and close up close this eye everything's fine out there it's that middle adjustment that sometimes I'm going okay and then I have to focus and it's not seamless yet but at least I'm thinking about it a whole lot less so um, yeah and I did go get um, my brand so the thing is is that she didn't have because I had to I switched jobs I switched insurance um, I she didn't have my prescription on hand she was like hmm yours is kind of one of those funny ones and she says I'm not knocking this um, what do you call it brand but it's not one that I said well I like it and she asked me why and I said because um, the ones she gave me for trial are too soft if you've worn contacts for a long time you know that they started out hard hard and the softer they are the more floppy they are and the harder they are to get in your eye so the ones that I get are middle line um, and they hold their shape a little bit better they still stick to my finger a little bit but they hold the shape so I can pop it in my eye and get it out of my eye a little bit easier so yeah is what it is I think that that is all that's going on I'm gonna finish the little hat get the shirt done get this spinning done um, and like I said I'm a uh, needle felt those two things for um, the kids my boss's kids and then other than that it's just day to day there, there's nothing horrible you know I did work quite a bit um, I shampooed the carpets this week but not all of them so worm still has little accidents and he's got a couple of spots that if you can catch him going to them you know he's got to go potty but he hasn't transferred that to the door so like this morning um, I had him out he peed and stuff and I thought okay he's done but then I go in and he's in one of his favorite spots and he's starting to crack and I was like uh-uh picked him up and out the door we went so it hasn't transferred to the door yet hitch goes right to the door and he'll make this whiny sound it's like and he wants out so you let him out um he's pretty regular worm as long as you do it pretty regular he doesn't have accidents in the house but if you leave the choice up to him he still has accidents so it is what it is but I did shampoo you know vacuumed everything shampooed and if you know me you know that vacuuming is a big deal because hitch has to be put outside and somebody has to be outside with him or he freaks out and then somebody has to be inside and doing the vacuuming in that so it, it's not just a throw him out and do the vacuuming or um, just vacuuming it is an event I make sure it gets done once a week um, twice a week would be great but once a week is right now is about all I can pull off so I got the vacuuming done and then I did shampoo where uh, little man has his he's got one in each room he's got one little spot so I got those done and then other than that just been trying to get my crochet done trying to get some winterizing done and I'm very much looking forward to vacation this year it's just been one of those I mean you gotta think I haven't vacation through COVID I haven't vacation through anything I'm ready for a little bit of a break of just being a tourist and not having you know 
too much go on. So, all right, I'm going to let you guys off here. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later, and hopefully I'll have some more stuff to show you um, on that one shirt and get it done. It, it actually works out pretty quick. Um, it's just a square, and then sew them together. So I'm good with that. All right, I will talk to you guys later. You have a great one, and God bless.